On this video, I'm going to teach you an amazing trick using nothing more than a pack of cards. Believe me, you want to stick around for this. All right, I'm Cosentino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to these videos where I teach you how to perform magic using nothing more than everyday household items. So if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your comments. You're keeping us motivated. You're letting us know what you want to see. With that being said, we won't waste any more time. Let's get started. All right, I have a very special guest here, Henry, my little nephew. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. Hello. This is his first time on the YouTube video. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Henry, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? First off, tell everyone how old you are. 96. Eight. Okay, good. Now, eight. Oh, you're eight. Okay, you're eight. And what do you like to do? Um, Film a YouTube lot of videos? Stuff. A, lot, a of lot of stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. Where well, you play a lot of video games. Yeah. I see you doing that. I see you riding around on the scooter. Hi. You ride around in the scooter? I love running. You love, run you love running? Yeah. Are you a fast runner? No, not really. Oh, but I you do like, like running. it. Mm -hmm. What else do you like? The PlayStation. The PlayStation. PS4. PS4. There's a PS5 now, did you know that? Yes. Yeah. I've got, a, I've got, Dad's got the PS4. Dad's got the PS4. Yeah, you've yeah. actually got my PS4 controller. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys broke it. Yeah. yeah. Have me one more thing that you like doing, Henry. Magic. Playing a lot. <laughs> okay, Henry, we're going to get started. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to show you the trick, all right? Like I will perform it like it would appear on television. And then I'll break it down and I'll take you step by step and everybody else through the secret and the method, okay? Sounds good? All right, so let me show everybody. I have a packet of playing cards here. You can see that all the cards are completely different. That's important, okay? So they're all different. Do you know how to shuffle the cards? Not really. Do you want to try and shuffle? Okay, just I mix know, them up. I know. Maybe one, do it over here. I know one that you taught me. Well, just, just just mix them up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shuffle the cards. So everyone needs to know that it's an ordinary pack of cards and you mix them up. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you, you were doing a video about cards. How to I, shuffle. Yeah. Correct. Are you happy with that shuffle? Yes. Okay. I'll right. do it. Yeah, you happy? Yeah. Okay, put them back together. Stack them back up. Yep. Good. Now, something else I need to do, I need to show everyone that I've got a prediction here, okay? And it will stay in full view, just down like that. Okay, now, Henry, there are 52 different cards in a pack. I want you to count down any number you like between one and 52. So you pick up the cards and you just count. So one, two, whatever you want to do, okay? Okay. okay. So what's the number? Um, 10. 10, so count 10 cards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you want to? Do you want to change your mind? Or do you want to stick with that? I want to stick with that. Are, are you sure? I'm well, sure. Just leave them there. Leave them there. Leave them there. Okay. So, so we'll keep it like that. So the tenth card. We're going to keep it there like that. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because if you'd chosen maybe eleven, you'd be here or here. You know, you know what I mean? Like the more numbers would change the cards. Or the less numbers would change the cards, but you you didn't want to do that, okay? Okay. So you you decided you're going to stay with ten. Ten. Okay. So I'm going to take out that tenth card. If you'd gone any other cards, you'd be there. Any smaller number, but you didn't. The card you landed on is the five of hearts. The prediction that I made before we started is the five. Then there was 53 cards. 53 cards, you reckon? Do you have any idea how it's done? No. Well, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that trick right now. Before you can perform the trick, there's a few things you need, a few yeah. items you need. Um, yeah, but can you use any envelope? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, so he's very anxious. He's anxious to, to know the trick. But let me let me show you what you need first. You need a pack of cards, okay? So 
Uh, 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 any pack of cards. Yeah, any. Yep, you need an envelope, okay? Because you want to put your prediction inside the envelope, in an envelope, and you need a duplicate card or another pack of cards. So maybe a red pack and a blue pack. So get that equipment right now, meet us back here, and I'll give you the secret. Okay, so Henry, the secret to the trick. Do you have any idea? Mm, yes. Yeah, what are you thinking? How, how does it work? Um, you um, knew that I was going to choose 10 because um, you're saying that you want to change it and you know that when you say that, they say no. Oh, he's going with the psychology. No, I actually had no idea what number you were going to choose. That's the truth. You could have had any number, Henry. And it really is a, 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 an ordinary pack of cards. The secret is this. This is really cool. The secret is this. You go through the pack and you choose a card. Now, I've chosen the five of hearts, okay? So that's the card that I want. So now I've taken another pack of cards and I've got a five of hearts. This one is a blue card, okay? But they're both the same card. One's the red and this is the blue, okay? So I've taken it out, do you understand? Yeah. Now, the blue card I place inside the envelope because that's my prediction. I just place it in there like this, okay? and it will stay there. Now, I don't want you, the audience, or the person I'm performing for to see it. Okay, so it's inside the envelope. And I've even put a little question mark on it so it looks like what's inside, it's a mystery, okay? Now, here's the secret. The card I want you to select, which is the five, which matches my prediction, is placed underneath, just like that. Yeah, tricky stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, now, what? what you, yeah, 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 what you didn't notice is I lifted up the envelope and I showed you. All I did was pinch. I held it there. You didn't even notice because you were focused on everything else. You were focused on looking great for the camera. You didn't even notice it happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I held it up like this and I said, I have a prediction here. If I turn it around, this is the exposed view. There's the card there. You didn't see it, but I said like this. And I, and I tilted it a little bit away from you. I did cheat a bit. So if I did that, you can see yeah. that. Yeah, but I did this, Henry. I look like this. Okay, so then what I did is I placed it down on the edge of the table. The reason why I did it on the edge is because I need to be able to pick it up. Yeah, if you if you do it like this, then you go like that, and then the card will drop. Henry, you're far too clever. That's exactly right. So you need to make sure, it's a really good point. You need to make and sure that it sits. how did you know that I did? I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you. So it needs to sit on the edge. Okay, that's the first thing. You pick that up, that's really important. Now, look, Henry, it's an ordinary pack of cards. Yeah, All you do yeah. is you shuffle it, and you did that, yeah. and then I got you to count down the cards, and you counted down to 10. Now, one thing you did that I have to be very careful of, you started to make the cards really neat. <gasps> I didn't want that, because if the cards are really neat, then when I put the envelope on top, it, it's gonna look like it's neat, and my card's not neat. So I made you make sure they were messy, you got to 10, and all I did was pick this up, and there's the card. Oh, you dropped it there! And then it, it made 11, but I didn't realize, and then you, and then you picked up that card, and then in the envelope you opened it, and there was a five of hearts. There you go. Do I, do I need to say any more? Henry's explained it all exactly. I did exactly that. I dropped it on top. And then, you know, you know. Look what happens. The card. Look what happens. Look, look, look. The card drops. Drop. It dropped. Boom. Yeah. I moved the envelope across. And, and then, then said that was that ten. Was I then opened up the envelope, mm -hmm. and of course. Mm -hmm. They match. And that's how you perform the trick. What do you think? Was that good? Yeah, that was awesome. High five. Okay, there are some tips to perform this trick perfectly. The first tip is that you need to make sure there's nobody behind you, okay? Because you don't want them to see this. When you show them the envelope, you don't want them to see, okay? So nobody can be behind. What about another tip, Henry? You got one? Um. When, when you always do the trick, you can't um, do it like this because when you pick up the envelope, you'll pick up the envelope but not the card as well. And then when you think that the card's there, you might drop it and then you'll just, um, you'll get it wrong. So, so you need saying, it, yep, it needs you to be need it edge. to be on the edge. So Perfect. you can so you can grab the card and the envelope At the same time. and then Perfect. drop it. Good tip. So it needs to be on the edge. And yeah. the third tip is really, when they count out the cards, make sure they don't count really, really neat. Because if they count too neat, then when you put this envelope with the card on top, 
it's not going to match up. So you need it to be kind of messy so you can just chuck the envelope like, on top. Okay? Like one, and two. the final tip is make sure you practice it in front of a mirror on a device. There you go. Or you can practice it with your parents. Good point. All right, so there you have it. It's a pretty insane card trick. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Make sure you practice, record yourself, watch yourself in the mirror. But until then, I'll see you all next time.